everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing the intimidating TBR pile tag. So I have a lot of books to be read, so I wanted to give them all to you, but quickly I wanted to ask you guys, a couple of you have been commenting that you want a book club or you want me to do kind of like a Google Hangout where we can talk about a book of the month. If, you, if that's something you're interested in, please comment down below or thumbs up the video, I'd love to know. If you want that, I'd be so down to do it, it would be so much fun. But if not, no worries. So let's just get into the video. The first question is, a book you have been unable to finish. So I'm gonna give this to Yes Please by Amy Poehler. I actually got this for Christmas, I think almost two years ago, <laughs> or maybe a year and a half ago. Um, it is a book by one of my favorite actresses. I absolutely adore Amy Poehler, but I don't know what it is. I started reading it twice and I, I don't know, I, it didn't get the best of reviews, and I was trying, and I think maybe because I was reading so many books at once that I didn't like it, it wasn't even the writing style that I didn't like, I love comedy essays, I love biographies like this, but there's something about it where I just didn't love it. The next question is, what book have you been unable to read because you don't have the time? I'm going to give this to Red Rising by Pierce Brown. Everybody on booktube community t raves about this book. They love it. The trilogy is amazing. I don't know why I haven't been able to squeeze it into my TBR yet. I've been trying for the past few months, but I just haven't been able to, and I don't understand why because I know I would enjoy it, but I just think it constantly gets put to the bottom of the pile. Um, but I want to, and I'm hoping I'm going to. I don't know too much about it. I know that it's something about Hunger Games and Game of Thrones kind of thing. I know it's dystopian, so I know I'm going to like it, but I don't know, I've just been reaching for it and then I'll open it and then I'll close it and I find another book. The next one is, what book have you not yet read because it's a sequel? I'm gonna give this to A Clash of Kings by George R.R. R. Martin and I know I put this on my TBR for March, but I, I know that this one's gonna be hard to get through because everyone tells you that the first 200 pages are just pure fluff. And honestly, I kind of fell into a little bit of reading slump this month, and I knew the way to pull myself out of that was not with 200 pages of fluff at the beginning. I know as soon as I get into the book, I'm going to love it, just like I loved A Game of Thrones, but I think right now is just not the time for me to try and do this one. Maybe next month or maybe over the summer when I have a ton of time for me to just devote myself to trying to push myself to read this book, but I'm not in the mood to push myself to read. The next question is... A brand new book that you've yet to read. So it's not brand new, but it came out this year, um, Starflight by Melissa Landers. Um, I heard really good things about this book. I love space books. I think they're really cool, but I don't know. I just haven't gotten my hands on it yet. I've seen it at the bookstore, but again, with me, I'm really about what do I feel like reading. So a book you haven't read yet because you read a book by the author and didn't enjoy it. Ugh. It's gotta be Crown of Midnight by Sarah J. Moss. And I don't want to get a ton of heat because everybody and their mom loves Throne of Glass. Like, I know everyone loves this series, but I just didn't love the first book and I can't force myself to read this. I put it on my TBR list. I know I'm eventually going to read it, I'm sure, probably, but I just, I can't do it right now. And I don't know, it was just, I liked Selena as a character. I think she was a nice, strong female lead, but something about it just didn't pull me in and I think maybe it had to do with the fact that it was the most hyped up book I've ever read but I just haven't even tried this one yet I haven't tried it because they don't want to force myself again into a series that I don't want to read a book that you're not in the mood for definitely the plague by Albert Camus I bought this book I started reading it and then I stopped the language the overarching theme of just the plague killing people and just it's it's a good classic novel, but I didn't love it the first go around, so I'm sure I'm going to give it another try, but I think it's just, I'm not in the mood to hear about a plague killing off an entire part of Africa, <laughs> um, but maybe someday I will be. The next one is a book you've yet to read because it's humongous. Gotta give it to Outlander by Diana Gabaldon, but stop, have no fear, this is going to be the next book that I'm reading. I'm really into it. I'm excited to read this one. I started watching the show and I actually really, really enjoy it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it. I'm, I think it's gonna be good. I'm excited. I want to read this. So I'm gonna, I'm trying to really work down my TBR pile before I add a ton of stuff to it. And this has been on my TBR pile for months now. So we're gonna do it, fam. The 
the next book is a book in your TBR that was a cover buy but turned out to have poor reviews. Gotta give it to Let Me Explain You by Annie Lyantas. Um, I thought this is gonna be so funny and I haven't read it yet but I've heard the like very subpar reviews on it. Um, I'm sure I'm gonna read this soon, maybe, sometime, but I don't really see it right now. And then the last question is, what is the most intimidating book on your TBR list? And I gotta give it to A Little Life by Hanya Nagahara. I've heard tons of great things about this book, and then I've also heard the very few bad things about this book. So it puts me in the place where I really want to read it, but I also am not sure because I know it's probably, I've heard it's the most depressing book in the entire world, but people have also said it's a book you should read. So I'm gonna probably try it soon. I would guess it's gonna be one of the next few books that I read, but I heard that it's very, 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 very sad. So that was the Intimidating TBR tag. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give that big thumbs up, and I will see you back here later.